Hey, so this is Alan from Al's Basketball Training, and today I'm going to show you some drills and workouts that you can do to shoot the basketball farther. So hello everyone, my name is Alan. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills, and today I'm going to show you some skill stuff. So what we have here is a six pound medicine ball. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this ball on the net from different angles to get our arms stronger. After that, we're going to go over to a basketball and shoot again with the basketball. Okay, so here we are. We are going to start with our right hand. You can do this with only just your right hand, or if you would like, you can also do this with like a regular shot that you would normally be doing. So we're going to do this 10 times. We're going to go take a step back and do it 10 more times. Now making sure to remember that if you're ever too short on your shots, make sure that you are using your legs more because your arms will get tired. You will miss short quite often like I just did right there. Make sure to use more legs and you'll be able to continue to get them in. This goes for any basketball game. If you're in the fourth quarter, you will be having to use your legs a lot more. Take a step back like I was saying, take a few step or take a few shots, 10 more, get back closer, go with your left hand and make sure to have your left foot in front of your right like I had there. And you will be just fine. Okay, so now we have the basketball, and with the basketball, we're going to make sure that we're going to get as, just as many shots in with the basketball as we did with the medicine ball. The reason is this is going to feel super light at first, and that's going to make sure that now you're, you're learning the accuracy even when your arms are tired or when they're not tired. This is going to help you in games when it's the fourth quarter or in overtime to be able to get more shots in. Okay, so now we are going to do the exact same thing except with the actual basketball. Now the reason why you would do this is so that you can get used to that basketball again, but also because your legs, your arms, they're going to be feeling that that basketball is so super light that you're going to need to make sure that there's more arc on that ball because you will be shooting it further if you don't put more arc. It's going to feel super, super light. And from there, you're going to take a step back, making sure you're keeping your proper form. And then you're going to continue with your left hand as well. So this drill is to teach you to basically in the fourth quarter, the, the overtime, whatever there is, to be able to get used to your body being either more tired or either you just got off the bench and you were tired before you got used to being tired now you're coming off the bench and you're you're just shooting the ball further you can put more arc on it basically some simple tips for you is if you're shooting the ball too far make more arc on the ball that means reaching up higher when you're shooting or if you are putting not enough power into it and it's coming up short you put more legs into your shot that is my shot form for anyone who is wondering, making sure, and I did get it in there as you just seen, that's just a replay, but a close up of me. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. Basketball players, are you looking to jump higher? If you are, there's a book in the description called The Jump Training Book that is going to help you just like it has helped many other players. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.